guys Ifan back again with another video and today what we are going to be looking at is how to do mail merge using Excel and Microsoft Word now uh, the advantage of doing that is you could uh, since it's a little difficult to do uh, so to say the least uh, calculations in uh, in Word um, what you want to do is have all your calculations done being done in in Excel and then bring in the results into into a nicely formatted document in Word. Uh, what we have, what I have done is I have already set up a Excel database with a list of customers that purchase uh, you know food items, uh, and these are restaurants and uh, fast food joints and uh, you know pizza parlors in the New York area. And uh, <clears throat> there's excuse me. The salesperson who is responsible for that area and uh, this shows you the revenue that came from that order and the number of days it would take for us to deliver that order and what we are we're going to be doing is we are going to be sending out very simple straightforward order confirmation uh, letters okay now what I've done is I've already gone ahead and typed up a simple order, uh, order confirmation uh, letter here it says to manager procurement <clears throat> excuse me uh, subject confirmation of receipt of order dear sir madam thank you for your patronage and uh, allowing us to be a supplier of choice when it comes to uh, purchasing products for your restaurant based in this is where the, the area where the, the restaurant is located or the business is located that's where that that's, that will come over here your order of what product did they buy they, they could have bought um, pizza or french fries or tomato ketchup any of those items so we want to say what the order was and how many days it's going to take uh, from here number of days of delivery so we will uh, also tell them how many days of uh, delivery time we, we, you know, we will be taking and the total amount due for the order is a dollar sign and then the space uh, here what we will do is we will put the total uh, the, the amount of the order the value of the order and that's the revenue field <coughs> And it's payable within 30 days. Our sales uh, representative will put the sales agent names. We'll be in touch with you to make sure that you're 100% satisfied. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Like I said, pretty straightforward. And uh, what we are doing is we have be we have uh, a database typed in Excel uh, that gives you the dealer's name, the sales area, the salesperson, the product that was uh, sold to them. And the revenue uh, or the, the 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 value of the order, and the number of days it would take us to fulfill this order. Okay, so we, what we want to do is we want to send uh, send out uh, order confirmation letters to all these customers, individual order confirmation letters, and this is where we will be using Word. <coughs> and so let's uh, get started. So what you do is you click on mailing. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> select recipient <coughs> now you could uh, select this option uh, let me just zoom in uh, type new list or use an existing list since we already have an excel database typed in so what we'll do is we'll use this use existing list option and i'm going to zoom out and i'm just going to browse to where my excel file is sitting <coughs> okay now, what we want to do is we want to put in the, the customer's name. So we go up here where it says insert merge field. So we put in the customer's name. And let's also put in the sales area. <clears throat> Dear sir, madam, thank you for your, when it comes to purchasing uh, products for your restaurant based in. And over here, we'll again put in the sales area your order of that's the product that they're buying from us so the products <coughs> will be delivered within the next that's the uh, days of delivery days of delivery the total amount due for the order is the dollar sign and then the revenue field okay uh, area sales representative and we put in the salesperson and that's it now if you want to see what the letter would look like what you do is you click on preview results field here 
and then these fields actually get filled in with their values. So just give you a nice uh, preview of what the finished product is going to look like. And if you, if then if you want to make any changes, you, it's much easier to do. So let's click on the preview results. And I'm just going to quickly go and make all the fonts consistent. There you go. <coughs> so to uh, manage a procurement, Acme Pizza in Brooklyn. So that would be the first guy here. Acme Pizza in Brooklyn. Now they are buying pizzas from us for, and it's going to take us nine days to deliver, and the order is worth nine hundred ninety thousand two hundred eighty-two. They have ordered pizza. Days to deliver is nine days. The size order is nine 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 hundred ninety thousand two hundred eighty-two dollars, and with, it's going to be uh, payable within thirty days. And the sales rep name is John. Now everything looks good except this guy here. Now what you want to, what would be easier is if this is this read nine hundred ninety thousand comma two hundred eighty two would be, it'd make it just a little easier to read. So let's go ahead and fix that. And what we'll do is we'll click back on mailing, and I'm going to turn off the uh, preview results. Okay, so I'm going to have these uh, field holders uh, show up. And we're going to go to revenue because that's what we are fixing. We're putting a, you know, the uh, thousands uh, comma every every thousand after every thousand there'd be a comma. So you would uh, hit Alt F9, and this is where you put in the formatting. Uh, so you do backspace, uh, sorry backslash uh, pound comma, oh sorry space and what it quotes pound 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 comma. Pound, pound, pound. So three pounds, then a comma, then three pounds. Basically, every three digits, after every three digits, there needs to be a comma. Okay. And Alt F9 to turn off this uh, mode. And now, if you go into preview results, if you see the revenue field reads a lot neater now. Okay. Now, that is the first uh, record. Now, if you want to see what the second record looks like, you just go here where it says next record. Over here it shows two. Now, let's go to Excel file and see what number two is. It's Tasty Brothers, Brooklyn. John is the salesperson. They're also buying pizza from us and delivered in eight days for 926.674. So, Tasty Brothers in Brooklyn. <coughs> they're also buying pizza from us, delivered within eight, uh, the next eight days. 926 674 is what the order is worth and John is a salesperson so you see uh, it's working you, you're getting a uh, individual letter for each now this is just the preview now what you want to do is you want to actually have the full mail merge go through and you know create individual letters so what you do is finish and merge and you can either say print documents or you can say click on edit individual documents. I usually like to do this if, if there's any fine tuning I want to, change the font, or if I want to just save it somewhere, I could do that. So let's click this option and I want to do all the all the records or you can just select the current one or you can save from which record number five to record number seven or you know if things like of that sort. But right now what we want to do is we want to do all the records. Okay, so uh, here you have your uh, each letter showing up on, on each its own page and you can just print this out on the company letterhead and you know mail it off so that was uh, how you would do mail merge using Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word uh, you could make this a lot more complicated with uh, a lot a very complicated uh, database uh, backend in Excel but we have just used a simple example to just kind of explain the concept uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you.